there's several aspects of having a laundry room in your home that are pretty special for at the turn of the century. One of them was to have a special stove for your irons that you used to iron your clothing. And uh, we have one here in the laundry room at Penny Packer Mills that has a whole special row right around the middle so that you can put multiple irons there to heat up so that as you use one and it cools off, you can reach down and grab another one right away, not have to wait for the one that you're using to heat again. Uh, a lot of people would have been using just their regular cook stove for uh, this purpose. So to have a whole separate stove uh, for that purpose uh, here at Pennypacker was pretty unique. Also on the floor there, there is a uh, what's called a tailoring iron. That was 14 pounds. It was specifically to iron heavier things like linen or wool uh, if you're just uh, touching those up. The regular irons around the middle were six or seven pounds, and they would be used for ironing your basic cotton things. You didn't have a lot of um, clothing necessarily to iron because you didn't have that much that was washable, but you did have all kinds of bed linens, table linens, and undergarments that you would iron. Your irons came in multiple sizes. There's a little tiny called slug iron that has a little... Um, metal part that would be put on the stove and that went inside of a uh, little bit fancier iron that was perfectly smooth on the bottom that kept this iron clean so this would be used for ironing your delicate collars and cuffs um, and also had a wooden handle in this case it has a little special trivet that goes with it um, your other irons could have a trivet there as well and uh, you could use that in between when you needed to move your clothing so you didn't put your hot iron down on the ironing board. You would have a sprinkler bottle, which would have just water inside uh, that would be used to uh, sprinkle your clothing. Uh, usually several hours at least beforehand, you would sprinkle the, the cottons and uh, ball them up. And then uh, hopefully they would get damp all over before you would actually have to iron them. That made it easier to get the wrinkles out. When you're doing your ironing, it helps to have some counter space. The way you would achieve that was to put the boards on top of the sink when the, doing ironing. So you have a clean place to put your freshly ironed folded uh, linens and clothing. So you'd have two separate boards, uh, one covered two sinks, and then there's a third board that might cover the, the other third sink if you needed that much space. But other than that, there was no counter space in this room for you to be able to put your clothes down. So you have the ironing board that you're doing your ironing on, and then you have these boards on the sink basins in order to have a place to put the work that you've already completed. 